In this animation, we are going to talk about instrumentation and working of HPLC. Full form of HPLC is High Performance Liquid Chromatography. HPLC instrument is constructed by compiling different parts which are Solvents Reservoir which contains different solvents, HPLC pump, degasser which is attached with vacuum pump, solvent mixing valve, sample injector. Next part is pre-column which is also known as guard column and length of this column is 2 to 10 centimeters. Internal diameter is 4 to 5 millimeter, usually 4.6 millimeter. After guard column, next one is analytical column and length of this analytical column is 10 to 30 centimeters. Again, internal diameter of these analytical column is 4 to 5 millimeters, usually 4.6 millimeter. The analytical columns and pre-columns are made up of stainless steel and filled with a stationary phase. Commonly used stationary phase is octadecyl silane silica gel, also known as ODS silica gel and common names of these columns are C18 columns. Next part is detector and finally coming to the recorder. Now let us discuss the working of these HPLC instrument. First we will start the HPLC instrument then all parameters will be entered by the help of available HPLC software and these parameters are solvent ratio, flow rate, runtime, type of elution etc. After creating the method, solvent of the mobile phase will be pumped by the HPLC pump from the solvent reservoir towards the degasser. Now these solvents will come to the degasser and degasser is attached with a vacuum pump which will create high vacuum. Therefore, any gas or air dissolved in the solvent will be removed online because this may create problem during elution. After degassing, solvents of the mobile phase will move towards the solvent mixing valve and mixing of the solvents take place which will help to produce uniform mobile phase. Now this mobile phase will run towards the pre-column or guard column. This guard column will remove any kind of impurity present in the mobile phase and protects analytical column from the impurities. In the next step, mobile phase will further move towards the analytical column then finally goes to detector. In this condition, blank mobile phase will run for 10 minutes at least which gives proper conditioning of the HPLC instrument. Now we will inject the required amount of sample through sample injector by the help of a micro syringe. After injecting the sample, it will pass through the guard column, then it will enter into the analytical column which contains stationary phase. Due to the difference in the affinity with stationary phase, compounds present in the sample will be separated inside the column and reaches to the detector and gives signals in the detector. Compounds having least affinity with stationary phase will reach to the detector first which is indicated by blue color. Then moderate affinity compound will reach to the detector which is indicated by red color. And finally, highest affinity compound will reach to the detector at the end which is indicated by green color. Ultimately, all signals will appear in the recorder. We have discussed the details about instrumentation and working of HPLC. I hope you clearly understand the concept of HPLC and as you have seen, we have done a lot of hard work to make this animation possible. So I personally request you to share this video as much as you can then only we can afford the production cost of this kind of videos and we can make more and more videos like this if you are a teacher then you can use this animation to explain the concept of hplc to your students and it will be highly beneficial for you all and it should be for non-commercial purpose but if you want to use this animation for any commercial purpose then you have to take written permission from us 
through our mail id given in the screen thank you so much